Venetoclax, a novel cancer treatment. Venetoclax is a targeted therapy used to treat certain types of cancer including chronic lymphocytic leukemia CLL and acute myeloid leukemia AMA. It works by blocking a protein that helps cancer cells survive allowing for programmed cell death. Mechanism of action. Apoptosis. Venetoclax targets the cell lymphoma 2 BCL2 protein, which helps cancer cells evade programmed cell death. By inhibiting BCL2, venetoclax induces apoptosis in cancer cells, leading to their death. Molecular design. Venetoclax is a small molecule inhibitor designed to fit into the binding site of BCL2 and prevent it from binding to other proteins that promote cell survival. This allows apoptosis to proceed normally, decreasing the number of cancer cells in the body. Preclinical studies. Venetoclax has shown efficacy in vitro and in vivo, including in mouse models of lymphoma and leukemia. These studies provided the basis for further clinical investigation of venetoclax as a cancer treatment. Approved indications 1. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia CLL. Venetoclax is approved as a second-line treatment for CLL in combination with rituximab or as a monotherapy for patients with relapsed or refractory CLL. 2. Acute myeloid leukemia AMA. Venetoclax is approved in combination with a hypomethylating agent such as azacitidine or desitabine, or low-dose cytorabine for the treatment of newly diagnosed AMA in patients who are ineligible for intensive chemotherapy. 3. Myelodysplastic syndromes MDS. Venetoclax is also approved for the treatment of myelodysplastic syndromes MDS, with a susceptible genetic mutation and without the need for transfusion dependence. Clinical Trials and Efficacy Data 1. CLL-14 Study. In a randomized phase 3 trial venetoclax in combination with rituximab improved progression, free survival and overall survival in previously untreated CLL patients compared to chemotherapy. 2. Viola Study. The combination of venetoclax and azacitidine improved overall survival in older patients with newly diagnosed AML who were ineligible for intensive chemotherapy in a randomized phase 3 trial. 3. M14-358 study. Venetoclax monotherapy demonstrated clinical activity in patients with relapsed-slash-refractory CLL in a phase 1 and 2 trial, providing a rationale for further investigation in combination with other therapies. Adverse effects and potential. Risks. Tumor lysis syndrome TLS. Patients taking venetoclax are at risk of developing TLS, which can cause kidney damage or failure. Close monitoring and prophylactic measures are recommended to prevent or manage TLS. Neutropenia. Venetoclax can cause low white blood cell counts, increasing the risk of infection. Patients should be monitored for infections and may require supportive care. Gastrointestinal symptoms. Common side effects of venetoclax include nausea, diarrhea and vomiting which can usually be managed with medication or lifestyle changes. Increased infection risk. Because venetoclax can lower the body's immune response patients may be at a higher risk of developing infections. Precautions such as vaccination and good hygiene are important. Current, use and future directions. Venetoclax. Combinations. Venetoclax is being investigated in combination with other targeted therapies and immunotherapies for a variety of cancers including multiple myeloma, non-Hodgkin lymphoma and lung cancer. Resistance. Mechanisms. While venetoclax has shown remarkable clinical activity, some patients may develop resistance to the treatment. Research is ongoing to identify mechanisms of resistance and new ways to overcome them. Limited oral formulations. Venetoclax is currently only available as an oral formulation, which can make it difficult for some patients to take as directed. New formulations or delivery methods may increase the convenience and safety of the treatment. Conclusion. High efficacy. Venetoclax has shown impressive clinical activity 
in a variety of hematologic malignancies, providing patients with new hope and improved outcomes. Challenges ahead. As with any cancer treatment, venetoclax is not without risks and limitations. Ongoing research is necessary to identify potential resistance mechanisms and further improve the safety and efficacy of the drug. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos.